This is Jamaica Bay in New York City. It's a beautiful national park with wildlife refuge. It's a prime location for viewing birds and bird migrations. that you guys can help us with. There's all of Queens up there and all of Brooklyn over there. And when it rains really, really hard, anything that gets flushed down the toilet and anything that gets dropped on the street gets washed into pipes that go right into Jamaica Bay. We conducted a litter characterization survey. Because we're doing science, we're just collecting data in the area where the lines are marked on the beach. That way we can go to any beach in Jamaica Bay, lay out 100 meters of tape, and then characterize which areas have the most amount of plastic, which kinds of plastic. Uh, we can do a lot of interesting uh, civic action based on the data that you guys collect. We have uh, people holding the bag, we have people collecting and helping the data recorder record which data it is that they're going to be putting down. Why is the litter a big problem? Uh, we have seals that live here. You have seals here. And we have uh, turtles. Uh, birds and turtles and seals have a lot of trouble telling the difference between what's plastic and what's food. If our ocean is filled with tons and tons of plastic bags and trash in the future, more plastic than there are organisms, that would be a really bad thing. It's really making a powerful uh, argument using data for the impact that plastics are having on the environment. What we find at the beach is kind of the end product of once all that stuff washes down a storm drain, comes out in the water, then washes up on the beach. We conducted a street litter survey around our school that was similar to the beach litter survey. So you can definitely see that what you find on the street is sort of like step one of the problem. <laughs> I have most of plastic fragments, cigarette butts, and candy wrappers and chips and and juice boxes, yeah, and then little bags and stuff. In both the street and the beach, we find similar items like plastic bags, plastic bottles, plastic caps, and many other items. Using data, and we can make a powerful argument to the community, here's where your plastic that you drop on the street or you use at home winds up. Until people stop littering, people stop using plastic, people stop uh, you know, leaving their trash on the beach, the problem is not going to stop. People have to change their behaviors. Eventually, tides to move the plastic here all the way around to Breezy Point and then out into the ocean. Students do a beach survey like they did today, not only are they collecting good data that will lead to civic action, but they're also actually saving the lives of uh, birds that are feeding on that beach by removing the plastic. And Oh, 
beautiful thing is there are lots of great people just like you, the younger generation, who's really taking charge and they want to clean up all the mess that some of the adults are making. So I'm so glad for that. I'm thankful for that. But yeah, you're right. Littering is not a good thing. But if you come out just to take a look, it can change your worldview. It can change your perspective. And this is what we try to do. We try to change people's perspectives by gathering them, by uh, having them come volunteer with us.